<laughs> hey there welcome to another edition of cambridge inside out i'm robert winters and i'm judy nathan and today is february 16th 2021 yes all right you know it's i still think sometimes like wait geez are we actually going to make it to the millennium oh, no. well that's 21 years ago all right <laughs> oh god i you know this whole since 2000 i just i don't know where i've been you know we had 9 11 happen Bush Bush got in and I think everything went downhill, even with the old blip of Ob <laughs> even with the, the blip of Obama. I'm sorry. I know, I know. Republicans have been gone in by in a flash. Right. Yeah. So we had some rather interesting things over the last couple of weeks at the national level. Not that we were oh, obsessed yeah. about that on, uh, yes. you know, the United States inside out here. Yeah. Uh, the uh, um, but, you know, we we actually finally got to the second impeachment trial. I know uh, I you know, I don't mind admitting that I didn't watch any of the impeachment trial at I all. I watched a fair bit of it. I only, I, yeah. I only managed to snap on the TV because I heard it was actually coming to the vote. That was Saturday. And yeah. So I turned yeah. on the TV and then watched the vote. And yeah. again, no surprises there. Right. Well, one uh, extra Republican, maybe seven. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Six. Total. Yeah, seven. So, yeah. Yeah. It was so 57, 43. Yeah. Um, you know, but that again no no surprises it's right. exactly what the expected outcome right. was right it's what it's the outcome that everybody knew more or less was going to happen right. weeks and right. weeks ago right right which kind of makes you wonder what the point is but i think there was a the point, point was was to hey this happened and let's not forget it you can't just sweep yeah. it under the rug even if right. you know that the impeachment's not going right. to prevail this behavior uh, is egregious yeah on all um, accounts but yeah. i have to say after the vote was taken then they did this whole big line of speeches one after another after another i i thought chuck schumer was great but i actually kind of also saw the point that mcconnell was making as well oh yeah so, except you know, he he did not want to have the impeachment hearing while trump was still in office and then he goes to yeah, say well you can't I know that, that was I know a little that, bit eh, you know that was that was kind of the lie but but you know but, but from the beginning he's been not the beginning but since, yeah but i know. i think i do kind of have warm i have kind of warmed up to the notion that the purpose of impeachment is basically yeah. to derail an out of yeah. control president right. you know it's sort of a safety measure right so in that regard this wasn't this impeachment wasn't so much a, a, a safety measure so much as it was a yeah uh, but how did it derail him the only way it would derail him is if he couldn't run for office again right and that's that's true that and i think happen. a lot of people emphasize that point that if they were yeah. to, able to actually convict him that they could then do that subsequently well that was part of it yeah 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 um i don't know you know but you know <laughs> what what i you know, I voted for Joe Biden for many reasons, not the least of which is I didn't want to hear Donald Trump's name anymore. I know. So I have to say this. We had to hear it for two weeks more. Yeah. And, it'll get, and we keep hearing it, you know. And we will because it's the party of Trump. Um, uh, for anybody you know, to say differently, I'm sorry. I That's think what that it is right now. You know, I've I have uh, witnessed more than a few obituaries to political parties oh, of the years yeah. okay. uh, and then they just come back re repurpose themselves a little bit public opinion has changed pretty rapidly sometimes remember most republicans hated trump in 2016 before he became the nominee yeah well then 74 million people voted for him i know and, and 60 percent of those still think the election i know but and those fickle people in two years may very fickle. well say trump oh yeah him wait 60 you know, percent of republic that's a lot of people yeah i don't know it's it's um anyway i'm i'm not convinced okay. that the the polls of today are necessarily indicative oh, polls, of polls, the polls schmoles, as they say yeah <laughs> well i mean i think the yeah. bottom line in you know, trump notwithstanding is that we are in a period now of redefinition of the major political parties in this of, country of so much Right. Yeah. The Democratic Party is having their own internal struggle. It doesn't. Oh, yeah, I'm Donald not. Trump. I mean, I don't like a lot about the Democratic establishment. I mean, just the whole progressive move uh, wing and this and that. Uh, oh, so yeah. so, you know, will one side win out? Sure. Will they find some sort of compromise? Common, yeah. Will they sort of absorb in and find some uh, right some unanimity? I don't know. Right. Um, you know, I think that the the Trumpism will work itself out to some degree. Um, oh, what I, I so. one thing I really don't want to see, but I, I imagine we will see is that, you know, that big kitty of money that Trump and his people raised 200 million, he'll probably start like a whole uh, news network of you know, Trump Inc. Uh, uh, and or at least some he, cable channel or I don't some think other he can do that with that money. I thought that's what well, then he'll do related. Uh, no, 
Oh, no. that pack can do anything. Some could, that. some could. Okay. So the, the part, which is You're like right. a quarter That's a good of a point. billion dollars, basically can fund. Really? Um, yeah, can, it could, they could actually set themselves up as a, a as sort of an, as a daily internet presence that Trump people just tune into every day and, you know, yeah. basically. Oh, yeah. Trump well, I heard thing. he's going to uh, support a lot of uh, primary challenges. Right. He's so he's going to basically. That. Yeah. He's going to do all of that, and mm -hmm. um, and he's going to set himself up as the anti-president, and that's going to be. That's oh, I just, thought it was the antichrist or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then you know, and there are a lot of like supporters yeah. will just tune in to hear. Oh the, God. The word of our Lord and Master every day. Oh, what have yeah. we become? I don't. Know. I know. Just stop covering right. him in the regular all right. news. So. All right, we'll go on for that. But I want to ask, what do you think about the commission that was just uh, appointed? The nine, Which, like the 9-11 uh, uh, oh uh, this is to look to look in yeah. some of what, what actually happened at the capitol it, it, they have to do it i hope they really focus on how did this happen not i, I know all about the crazies and all that i want to know where was the security where with all the knowledge they knew about this group coming with guns people knew it everywhere talk about the internet how come this that's what they really need to look at I think they mismeasured the seriousness of it to, to it, some it degree. Totally not seen. Right. But you know, the, you know why the, they didn't communicate just like in nine 11, they did not right. communicate. CIA didn't talk to FBI, they, all the chatter. The biggest charge it. against Trump that I yeah. completely bought on and would, and I would have convicted him uh, yeah. if I was in that position yeah. Yeah. had to do with the fact of dereliction of duty of what is your oath of office? Say oh my God. Yeah. Duty? And if you're the president of the United States, you and defend in fact, the constitution. if you there's an armed it, yeah. mob attacking the right. Capitol, you have control of all the, these, these parts of government that can, can right. rush to intervene. And he failed to do so. Well, after That's, the fact or before? During. During. During, well, during uh, that's where I think they got a couple yeah. of those Republicans on their side. Because yeah, of what yeah. it was and so obvious that he could care less about right. what happened to people. Right. Unbelievable. I mean, exactly. So, so you know, that yeah. to me was you know, yeah. you know, automatic conviction in my book. But hey, right. Okay. So, Let, uh, let's just leave that guy in the past. Let, I want to do that. I really do. I, I want to move on. I, you know, there's going to be a baseball season. I hear uh, right now the schedule is uh, calling for 154 games. I hope. Yeah, except that what do you think about what's going on with the Red Sox? They're getting rid of all the favorite players. Andrew Benatani. Uh, Andrew Benatani is gone. Yeah. And, um, you know, so, and, and and Jackie, is he also on the, on the chopping block? Jack I hope Bradley not. Jr.? But uh, I've Jackie heard Bradley? That. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know, the thing is, is that there have been years in recent years yeah. where I've tuned into the Red Sox at the beginning of the year and and didn't actually know who was on the team, really, other right. than a few names. And That's that was true. OK by me because I just like All watching right. the baseball games. Oh, you're sweet. You know? So yeah. I'm, I'm just looking forward to having a real season. Well, an almost complete an season. An almost complete, yeah. Well, it's actually interesting. It's 154 games, which is what the schedule used to be. I thought it was 180. Expansion. No, no, it went to 162, became oh, the standard right. during the, um, after the expansion, I think in 1961 or 62. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, or somewhere, no, it actually might've been sooner because the I know Mets that was- The were part of the expansion. Well, it, it actually could have been Mets. earlier. I, I yeah. know that the, no, no, it must've been later because yeah. it must've been earlier because the asterisk on Roger Maris's 61 oh, right. runs per year record was because he did it in a 162 game season, right? And Babe Ruth did it in a 154 game That's season. That's right. That's right. So it was, you know, sometime before 1961. Uh, yeah. You know, so it could, or yeah. it could have happened in 61. So but anyway, that to yeah. me is my source of optimism. I am looking okay. for warmer weather, less COVID, and um, and baseball. You know, and and that will make my life just dandy. You know, you know you're so, in the same group as me now to get the vaccine next, right? Getting there, getting there, really. Uh, and and by the way, it's it is uh, it's worth noting. And again, I don't mean to obsess so much on this here, but mm -hmm. um, it is worth noting. And I'm just going to kind of rush to oh, yeah. this right here. Okay. Oh yeah. That in fact, um, for those who you know been anxious about um, COVID, yeah, the um, the numbers really are objectively getting better. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that the mm -hmm. number of new infections is flattening yet, but right. it is definitely getting less steep. You it say is, that across the country too. It's not just, yeah, it's demonstrably yeah. true. Uh, and, um, and the, oh, you know, look the, at that. The peaks of that wow. you know, happened ever since, uh, I guess, November, December. Yeah. 
um, have been trailing off pretty rapidly. Wow. They, I, I don't think they're just going to go away right away, but, yeah. um, but certainly the, that horrible period seems to have come to an end and hopefully it won't come back with other well, variants. That, but did you hear they just, yes, yeah, seven variants now they found it, but I guess that conversion, I heard something, conversion evolution, I, don't know, I heard some term this early this morning, I have to figure it out, but yeah. hopefully we can weather it. Right. And, and uh, you know, at least we can speak in for our little hometown Moderna folks. Yeah, you know, they actually have technology where they can actually modify I think Pfizer things does too. pretty quickly. I think so, Pfizer does too. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, yeah. I'm choosing to be optimistic about it yeah. to be sure. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so things are getting arguably better. Re we'll, we'll see. Except, yeah, I'll see them better when the kids go back to school. Right. And I'm still a fan of, of actually getting as many teachers and staff vaccinated as quickly oh, as yeah. possible, just so yeah. everybody can have, put their they're, mind. They're, on be, they're behind us. Yeah. I mean, it's very hard. You know, I have upstairs yeah. tenants. One person's got the vaccine now. Another person uh -huh. was had to be quarantined because of your contact with somebody, yeah. Yeah. but has now tested negative. You know, but, you know, it's, yeah. it's a, the scary thing is I how know. this thing seems to I always know. continue lurking around the edges of our lives. And, and I know. Um, you know, and, you know, it is sort of like, you know, walking out into a scary street where somebody's still well, waiting be, behind us at a building I know. for you. I, I now double mask. Well, I know well, I'm not doing a, that, but you know, you it's have an N95. I mean, do you wear a KN or? You no, wear I don't. I don't. No? I don't. I but I, you, you know, yeah. I just stay away from people. Well, yeah, I do. I do too. I mean, I go shopping, but I, um, yeah, yeah, I have a mask now. I went yeah. to the dentist today. That's the second time, but I had to. But they've been vaccinated, so phew, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's getting more and more. I think uh, the the president's promise of a hundred thousand vaccinations in hundred days. It looks like he's actually going to meet it and exceed it. So that's actually pretty good news. A hundred million, and, uh, I thought. Hundred. That's what I meant. A hundred million. So, 100, but, I don't know. Uh, not a hundred million in a hundred days. That wasn't it. But it was. Uh, yes, anyway, it was. They, was it? I don't think so. No, but they are getting a hundred million. That would be a third of the country. Yeah, yeah but they're making was. pretty good progress, uh, which is not the same as I'll look that one uh, up. That Massachusetts yeah. is doing well. I think right. Massachusetts is. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, this, really this may long. sound kind of um, contradictory. Yeah. But honestly, if I think I think that if they worried a little bit less about fairness and equity, yeah, what people won't like to hear, but oh yeah, and, and about just speed and efficacy, getting it out there, yeah, then they would have been able to actually deal with the fairness and equity issue better. I've heard that somebody just wrote that the way today. they're doing yeah. it now. I know, you know with all these phases. Sometimes just yeah. just you know kick out the jams, let her rip, get as much out there as fast as you can. Worry about fairness a little bit later. You know, right. it's not like you're discarding fairness, but you know, speed matters in a situation like yes. this. And, and I think that's really what they should be focusing on primarily. You're right. So, um, so one of the things I, I don't know if this is maybe this is the time to mention, but I think one of the things that I um, I did this weekend. Um, yes. I don't oh, know, right, maybe, yeah. you know, my little quarantine exercises, I got right. to thinking for no particular reason about uh -huh. uh, a piece of uh, zoning that's been proposed. Um, missing middle. Missing middle petition, which M &M. is, by the way, distinct from a conversation that they're having without uh, actual zoning text tomorrow. Oh, uh, I think it's tomorrow afternoon or something with. Um, oh, the, is that uh, the neighborhood planning? La Long term planning committee oh, right. having to do with um, uh, loosening restrictions on single family single. zoning. Right. And, um, you know, which are basically some restrictions in some of the more uh, restrictive zones of the city, which I think is a good idea. I actually proposed it during the envision process. Uh -huh. What exactly should be proposed? Well, we could talk about that, but. Um, you know, but that's distinct from this other thing called the missing middle housing petition right. that was introduced by the ABC people. Right. So I got to thinking about that, not not strictly as a statement of opposition, but because I got to thinking that, you know, a lot of times when somebody something is proposed that's in the abstract, you know, just sort of saying, well, we've decided that, you know, because of and then blah, 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 some somewhat fallacious arguments to in favor of this. Um, that I, it got me thinking that, you know, I don't know that uh, city councils or a lot of residents for that matter actually understand what would happen um, or potentially would happen. Residents don't understand zoning. I, I they don't understand zoning. Yeah. 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 
you know, so you, you hit them with sort of an emotional appeal, say, oh, yeah. this will, don't you worry, this is going to be great for the middle class, even though there's yeah. zero in the petition that specifically right. would necessarily right. benefit yeah. anybody yeah. who identifies as middle class. Right. Um, you know, but the thing is, it's a sales pitch. So right. I got to thinking about it very naively. I thought yeah. to myself, well, okay, never mind the whole city. Let me just think block by block of a few blocks around my neighborhood. What would the change be? You know? Yeah. So, you know, some of the streets that are adjacent to me are Antrim Street, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, you know, Fayette Street, Maple Avenue, Lee Street, Inman Street, things New like Cambridge. that. Yeah. Yeah. So what I did is I just, I downloaded the assessor's database. And the whole, actually, the whole database? The how entire you, database. Well, how can you do that? You must have um, your... You go to open data portal and you can get it. How, you know? how fast, what kind of download speed do you have? Oh, it's not, it, it's not that bad. No? Oh. No, no, no. No, but the thing is, is that the problem is, is that uh, though I suppose I could have gone to the building department and requested so it be sort of aggregated. The problem was, is that yeah. since the condominium craze has happened oh, over really? the last 20, well, really 30 or more years. Yeah. Um, you know, what happens is, is that it used to be that the living area was tied directly to the lot area. So you could calculate the floor oh. area ratio pretty easily. Oh, and then when, whenever a building gets condoed, then the land area stays with Basically, that record right, and then right. separate condo records are generated oh, that, that show like the individual la yeah. living areas for each individual condo. Okay. So in order to actually get sort of the aggregate total living area for a building, you have to put it all back together okay. again. So there I was kind of bleary eyed, using, your math skills, using, using your math my math skills and, and obsessive <laughs> compulsive tendencies to yeah. um, basically spend all day Saturday just wow. reassembling not for every I, the only way to do it practically was to do it for specific streets you so that's what i set out wow. to do so i started out saying okay i'm going to do norfolk street antrim street and one other i forget which one why Nor norfolk is not mid cambridge that's more no it wasn't just popped into my head it popped into your head okay yeah. and i said well let me try i think it was because it was more like area for the port area as that's opposed to mid -Cambridge yeah where I live, right right right, right, right. Uh, so i said let me just do a few streets i started doing that and eventually i started to get good at it and and then by yesterday i was i cranked out about 28 or 30 streets and um, wow. you know, and actually became pretty confident in the results as I was doing it too, and then just put it all together and made a document out of it um, to kind of make a point. I think now it's, it's on your website. Are you going to show a little bit of it? Yeah, we could show a little bit of it here okay. um, right now. I mean, there's um, I have a I have it in a few uh, a few places here. Right. So what, what I did was and I put a little bit of a narrative together about it. You know, right. You know, um, actually relating it to, you know, because in a way, my mindset about it was very similar to something that happened a few years ago when I was there was people discussing Central Square. So I put together this little piece called Completing the Square, which was oh. just sort of an actual walk through Central Square oh. with a camera where I just pointed out simple observations about um, you know, places that I thought were kind of missing pieces. Oh, you like know, the, where, the, where the, you know, significant, yeah, sure. Bu significant buildings had once stood, and now they're just yeah. little one-story little throwaways and whatever. And taxes, right? Yeah, they call them taxpayers. Yeah, and uh, but there are some real handsome buildings in Central Square, but there were a lot of missing teeth. So I put together this kind of little photo book about it. You know, sort of uh -huh. showing and pointing out just pretty simple-minded things about what I think could be improved, wow. you know, and it was, it was a little bit, you know, meant to be kind of naive, but informed mm. at the same time. And when did you sense. do this? What year this was actually in 2013, about seven wow. years ago. Seven, eight years. Know, oh, wow. yeah. yeah. And since then, uh, you know, some of these places that were kind of empty, yeah. like right around here is now where Mass and Maine is located, you know, right. and you know, also that, the hotels. And yeah, hotels. So some things have changed, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, you know, I think most of the anything good is still there. Anything bad is kind of getting better. I think. Target but, went uh, into the uh, Carl uh, the court. Yeah, yeah, but I still think that that's a building that really could be, could be more. De definitely could be more right there. Oh yeah. Is, well, also know? the one to the right there 
that you have right next to that one. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of buildings there that, oh. that I think just are, they really could just be more interesting mm -hmm. and more vital. And I think in time, I suppose they will, right? But yeah. I, but I just wanted to do that. So so anyway, what I was doing, I said, I'm going to do something similar. I'm just going to basically virtually take a walk down some streets, yeah. calculate what the existing densities are in each of these various streets, um, just to kind of get a sense of things. Um, that was again, circle. You know, that's, I know someone. Yeah, like. you know, you can see there's a bit of an alphabetical bias. I yeah. was going through it alphabetically. I wasn't planning uh -huh. to do the alphabet okay. at all. Uh -huh. So, um, so it's kind of lumped toward the the front of it. But, you know, if you're if you have a petition that's proposing to have a a, a residential density pretty much across the board uh -huh. for what were previously the A's. B's yeah. and C1 districts, residential yeah. districts. Yeah. They wanted to propose a residential density of 1.25. And I think last time we met, we had to show, I, I was talking about my houses around that. And I that's would say right. that's a little too dense. Exactly. So, um, a lot of so, non-conforming buildings, right. But I hadn't actually done the calculation. So I said, well, let me actually just walk uh, virtually mm -hmm. down some of these streets and sort of see what they are. So, okay. you know, so a street like Amory Street, just sort of moderate density is like um is that 0 0.89 is what the built environment is appleton street in west cambridge on the other hand which is residence b sure. is about a 0 0.53 which is just only slightly above what's mm -hmm. actually permitted legally mm -hmm. um you know and i just sort of did it all around and i come up to like berkshire street um in wellington harrington actually it already has a Built uh, in built FAR uh, wow. averages out to about 1.22, which is actually very close to what's proposed. Um, but you know, the thing is, is that if if people want to understand what the impact of a change like this mm -hmm. is, I think don't think of it in the abstract. Just think of it right. by specific streets. Wow. So you know, so you know, probably the prize winner on this list was Lakeview Avenue. I see that 190. <laughs> <laughs> which I think right oh now that you God. could you could build up to 0. 0.5 or something. Yeah. I think now. But by this, uh, you could actually, you could triple the density. That'll never happen, ever. Well, I, I think it did, the zoning changes did not result in, no. in absolute changes overnight. But the no. thing is, is that, um, but the thing is, is that every time a parcel changes hands, True. you would expect people to build pretty yeah. much to whatever the maximum yeah. they can build is. Right. Um, and, and, and also homeowners, existing homeowners could say, what? Oh, you mean I could build, I can three, build, all I can build three times the building mm -hmm. here? Boy, now it's time for the, the indoor pool and the additions. Well, I'll bring our in-laws in. I want them bring to the indoors. Them. Yeah. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, and so, you know, I um, guess that is the middle class. I mean, you could argue that that's what they're saying, but well, I don't really see the connection to middle class because I think yeah. as long as the hot market still in Cambridge, right. the, the principal beneficiaries would still be the people the upper. who are willing yeah. to dig deep. Yeah. And new buildings are not cheap buildings anyway. No. So, no. No. so no. anyway, so um, hmm. not to belabor the point, but the thing is, is that I thought it might be helpful to quantify some of what's actually being proposed rather than turning it all into sort of You've like much response. Quantity. I know you put that on Twitter or Facebook. I forget. I yeah, I yeah. Have you so got just, any more? I, yeah. Yeah. So I just put that up there just today in the middle of the yeah. day. Um, right. You know, I'll, I'm sure I'll get some response in time. Yeah. But um, you know, the, there's a funny thing about getting internet responses is if you yeah. can, if you say something inflammatory, you'll probably get like instant responses. If you say something reasonably intelligent, people go, "Hmm, how am I going to respond to this?" And so you don't necessarily expect to get instant responses. I don't think Facebook the, is, is the first place people go to anymore. They'll go to Twitter and the younger people go. Well, to it's there too. It's yeah. there too. But yeah. the thing is, it all depends on which people are reading. Well, that's true. So, yeah. um, you know. so anyway, I'm sure I'll get some kind of response. And, and it wasn't meant to be a hostile act to put it out there. It's just yeah. that I think that, you know, trying to argue for making zoning changes based yeah. on I know. kind of thin statements and abstraction as opposed to you know, there's sort of the a actual existing built environment is still a better I, way to go. Yeah. Now, where where is that petition at this point? What's happening? Uh, it's referred to the Ordinance Committee and Planning Board for hearing and report. And, and that hasn't been like, scheduled yet. They haven't scheduled it yet. No. But, you know, I, I was noticing a few days ago that even the language of it, the terminology, the missing middle petition, I know. identical from one out from the West Coast. So it's sort of like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah yet another illustration about how sort of national politics is basically using yeah. Cambridge as a bit of a sandbox these days for playing it mm -hmm. out, whether it's a match 
or not. You know, I, I will, I will absolutely stick by my point of view here, which is that if you want to argue against single family zoning in a town that has virtually all single family zoning, or in a town, or arguing in favor of increasing density in a town that has abysmally oh, low okay. density, right? Go it, for it. No yeah. argument for me. Right. right. But Cambridge nationally is well, actually well, one of the densest well, cities in the country. I know. Already. I know. I know. Yeah. So this, it's just it's, it's not a ridiculous argument. It really. is a pretty ridiculous argument. But the thing is, is that, you know, and again, I don't want to be too mean spirited about this, but I don't know that um, our elected city councilors are all that expert at quantifying things, you well, know, and actually I, understanding a, a couple of them are somebody that's built things actually and knows. A well, Dennis that. Carlone, I think will yeah. understand very well. But, yeah. You know, it's the one thing I, I do like about his being on the council no he no that that is his yeah. i think one of his prime think, skills that that he really can be used badly to. needed with all these petitions coming out every other right week, you know you know but he can so easily be swamped by ideology right you know and emotion as right. opposed to you know just sort of quantification and reality right, right. you know so anyway I, i'm at least wanting to get the ball rolling in that direction if at all possible yeah. yeah, there was a there was a petition. There was an ordinance committee meeting today. I guess I didn't realize that. I I didn't really. They re They added an extra one about the alewife. That's uh, what it was today. Alewife. Yeah, at one o'clock. So. And and this like organized opposition to it. I have no opinion yeah. on that one, by the way. Uh, yeah. And you know, in that particular area, in, in it's the alewife, quadrangle, or is it the, the quadrangle? Triangle? It's yeah, the quadrangle. which is not the quad. Quad is like on the I campus. Know. It's the I quadrangle. Know. I know. But, um, but you know, listen, I think they ought to play hardball and say you either build the bridge or you ain't getting nothing. Yeah. And uh, and find a way to make that reality. reality. And I'm perfectly OK. Right. With it. I'm going to try to tune into it uh, at some point. So we have like a half a minute left. Yeah. So that was that. And, uh, you know, and they got a whole sequence of other ordinance committees. We'll talk about that, I guess, yeah. in the next half hour, okay. including right. a real estate transfer fee. And, and oh, uh, I don't know anything about that. that. that that's, that's in March. It's coming up oh, in March. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it, it'll be some interesting things happening uh, in the in the weeks to come. So, OK. All right. So we'll anyway, we'll take a three half. minute break and we'll be back on Cambridge Inside Out. Bye.